What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about why Too Hot to Handle the Netflix series is incredibly fake. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment something nice down below and let's get straight into it. When watching Too Hot to Handle, I realised this is a guilt-stricken Netflix binge and to be honest, I thought, how was this show scripted by an Oscar-nominated screenwriter? This occurred to me when the, the screenwriter, Hayley Curitan, declaring that she literally has no idea where Australia is and her confession that she doesn't know what language her tattoo is in. My suspicions persisted until Hayley was the first contestant kicked off the reality dating series. I just like the sound. No writer would kill off their comic relief so early in the game. But really, just how produced is the drama on Too Hot to Handle when, when contestants broke the no-touching rule or referred to each other as naughty little quesadillas? Was there behind the scenes influence or were there realistic bouts of insanity? Contestants can't be forced but they can be nudged. Harry Jowsey admitted that the production could influence his decisions but never made them for him. In these situations they know of what you've got a big problem and you have to have a chat with someone. They'll just point you in the right direction to get a result. They're not forcing you to say anything or do anything. They just kind of help you nudge in the correct direction. Obviously, editing impacts how the show plays out. Nicole O'Brien opened up about her experience and asserted that everything depicted was real, but she did note that everything that went down in the villa was shown on the series. It's filmed over a whole month and the footage is filmed up, down into 8 episodes. Of course you don't see everything that she told, but there were some parts of my personal growth that were missed. David and I also had a date that wasn't shown. We connected, but quickly realised it was more of a friendship. I was close to Bryce too. We're still chatting now and seeing where things go, but obviously distance is a factor with that. Elements of Too Hot to Handle were produced. As with any reality TV show, aspects of the show needed to be created. What would Love is Blind be without the pods of The Bachelor, without fantasy suites? Producer Louise Pete said that the producers set sex prices, devised workshops and plot to introduce new contestants as the cameras rolled. Some elements evolved more organically than others. This includes Lana's decision to give Haley the boot and that twist ending with the money prize. We realised, we realised quite early on that everyone was learning. And if they weren't learning, for example, Haley then would naturally be asked to leave because they weren't progressing in the retreat. So when it got to the final episode, it was an absolute no brainer for us to share the money. Amongst the group, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it, and peace. But that's alright. Hush.